What's up you guys, Sharkness Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends 20 year anniversary Iron Man. Try to pick up your Marvel Legends, you can do so. Assert your feelings, you know it to be true. Dark Side Toys is a store for you, link below. No way, down there I ask you to please hit that like button, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell, and oh my god, I cannot believe it has been 20 years since Marvel Legends started. Unbelievable. I remember the Series 1 Iron Man from way back in the day being on the shelf, not having money, and then going to the bank, coming back, and then someone else bought it. Oh, devastating. But I have an extra Mint on Card Series 1 Iron Man right here that you could look at, and then I could put the two of them side by side right over here, or put them both on the rotating base just because it's fun. But yeah, this packaging looks awesome on the back there's a read up over here if you want to read it go ahead and pause it right now we get that product shot on the back as well anyway let's get to it and slice this thing open i'm gonna try to take care of this so i don't want to damage it and i've done this demonstration before but you're seeing it again right now slice and then slice across the bottom uh obviously we have the blister card packaging compared to the uh clamshell packaging back in the day and i would open those figures the same exact way i don't like that angle right there uh hopefully this all comes out smoothly all right it looks all right and we get the faux comic no real comic but it's the backdrop right there with the comic cover and then you can see the, the faux base, you know, so we don't get all that stuff. Oh, man, we've got accessories just kind of spilling out over here. Uh, let's get this guy out. Oh, man, it does look pretty sweet. All right, let's get him back on the rotating base. <laughs> And here's our new classic Iron Man figure out of the packaging. And I expected to see a lot more reused parts here than we're actually seeing. So yeah, a little bit more new than expected. But anyway, let's get a closer look at the accessories and then we'll take a closer look at this figure. So here's all the accessories except for the two head sculpts out of the packaging. You can see we get two sets of hands, no hinges on these repulsor blasting hands. Oh, Hasbro, that frustrates me. You do get the port so you can plug the effects in though. And I do like the paint that they've added added to them then we've seen these effects before with Riri Williams color change of course and then we have this backdrop right over here and you can well I'll show that off more in a second I wanted to look at this first because I think it's really cool that Hasbro made this stand commemorating 20 years of Marvel Legends and using the original Toy Biz Marvel Legends logo right here you can see we get two pegs sticking up then you can take this card and you can just put this right over here as a backdrop so we have the cover to Iron Man 174 right there looking really cool with the different armors which i think is perfect for uh you know an armory shelf you know so i think that's great or you can flip it around and use this side right over here to pay homage to the series one base that came with that original iron man figure and you can see that base right over here so yeah still have it still looks pretty good too it rotates right over here but yeah i love that they did this i think this is a very very cool move i love it then going back to these accessories right over here i did want to show off the paint detail on these hands because i think they look really good i love that black paint in there just makes it look really pristine makes the sculpt pop even better and we'll see that more throughout the figure here. then you can see that we have it's actually two separate sets of effect pieces i like this black smoky effect right over here and seeing the translucent blue looks dope with this effect piece however i like to just use it like this for the repulsor blast adding the smoke for a repulsor blast i feel like that's a little too much so i'll use just this if i'm using it as a booster blast for his boots you know what i mean um and then to weave this through you want to kind of just go like that and then pour it in that's the easiest way to go <laughs> So I love that we have this Bronze Age Tony Stark head sculpt over here, but at first glance, I immediately thought of Charles Bronson, and I know what they're going for over here. It's just that the face likeness looks a little bit more like Charles Bronson than Tony Stark from so the Bronze Age comics, I almost said Silver Age comics, but let me know what you think, because yeah, I really like the head sculpt. It just looks like somebody who's not Tony Stark to me, right? But anyway, uh, I really like the sculpt over here. The details look really good. The eye paint looks really good and I love that they've added this blue paint to the hair nice wrinkles around the eyes really nice big fluffy hair just a little bit too much with the hair 
Maybe if they made the lower jaw a little wider, maybe with those changes, it would look a little bit more like Tony Stark, right? But anyway, let's look at the Model 2. Boom. And then we have the Model 2 helmet right here, and this looks dope. I love the detail right here with the vents and the eye pieces right there. I'm happy to not see the eyes through there, you know? Sometimes they do the eyes through there. And then you can see that nice black paint in the seams. Really happy to see that. Uh, you're not going to see that in the hinges, though. So I'm noticing throughout the figure, you don't see the paint on the hinges, but we do get it on the figure itself. And then looking at the torso, didn't expect to see so much of a change from the hologram Iron Man, or I guess the 80 years buck body. You can see the arc reactor, uh, these pegs right here. I mean, the whole upper torso is different. Less musculature and everything. I think I still like this one maybe a little bit more, but, you know, I, I'm, I'm not full of it when I say it. I really do like them both. Like, I really like both of them. Um, I think this is the more accurate painted color one, but still, I really do like the sculpt on both of these. They look great. And then the arms are the same, and then you can see the black paint and no black paint in the hinges, and then you got the black paint on the butt. Same legs and everything that we'd seen before. Oh, I wanted to move that just so you could see the sculpt all the way through so it does go all the way through there leaning all the way forward you can see how it looks right there but yeah wish they could add shadowing effect that's one thing i'd like to see more of on marvel legends you can see the series one has a nice shadowing effect maybe not everybody likes it but i really liked it a lot and i hope to see that more in my marvel legends boots are the same and they showed up uh, just as they're supposed to unlike the 80 years iron man version and we still get the peg holes at the bottom of the feet so i'm gonna go through the articulation segment partially because we only have partial new parts over here and i want to compare it to of course the 80 years body mold so as you crunch that one forward uh you can see uh this one crunches forward about the same and going back and then going back and they both bend back at about the same and the arms move in just about just as much maybe a little bit more on this one but i don't know they look like yeah they get the same kind of range of movement at the shoulders and everything so a little bit more right here i guess with the first version that can move up a little bit more so so eh, no a little bit more right there push it so i guess a little bit more on the older one yeah for sure uh the thing i really wanted to complain about though and i love that you can still move the head very far up and everything uh but the ankle joints are super stiff and i feel like the ratchets on them are spaced out really far apart from each other like on this one i can move the ankle up and down and it just makes it easier to stand but with the joints uh kind of like locking and clicking it just makes it really tricky to find the right positioning for him to stand. So that's an irritating thing to note for sure. So to measure out this Iron Man figure, you could see that Model 2 is standing just a little under the 7 inch mark. For an Iron Man comparison, you could see we have the 80 years Iron Man right over there with the Alex Ross head. And then we have our Model 3 Iron Man figure or the hologram armor Iron Man. And yeah, the similarities here are pretty uh, remarkable, but at the same time, quite different. It's kind of a trip to see them all lined up like this, but you can see how they get shorter as you go. I'm just kind of curious to see this. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I like that. Nice. Get the right color arc reactor and everything right over there. Yeah, the yellows don't match up exactly, uh, but they're close enough if you wanted to make this swap happen on your display. And then to compare this 20 years Iron Man figure next to all the other Series 1 Iron Man variants from Toy Biz, you can see we have the stealth version right there. Thank you so much, Nick Jordan. We have the regular version right there, and then we have the gold variant with the Model 2 head sculpt on there. Thank you, John 3.0, aka Epic Voice Guy. But yeah, you can see uh, the similarities right over there. I thought it was a trip that they made this variant not just a repaint, but they also gave it a different head sculpt. Oh man, it made it so much harder to get a hold of. Oh, still happy to have it. It's a prized possession of mine. And how often do I get to show off having all three of these variants? Oh, feel so lucky to have them. Iron Man party, yeah! Uh, that's too much party. Then here's a 20 years Iron Man figure next to the first 10 years Tony Stark figure with this brand new head sculpt on there. And it doesn't really fit that well. It looks just a little too big. I'm not just talking about the hair, but yeah, the head sculpt feels a little large, but I guess maybe it could work for some people. For me, it looks a little too big. Then here's a 20 years Iron Man figure next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Whoa, 20 years later and you've gotten a little bit taller. Somehow your arms have gotten a little bit shorter. <laughs> You look a little bit better too. Not like it's somebody's first try at ever making a neck. <laughs> So 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, show some love to the channel by simply clicking that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And a big thank you to all these people over here that support the content via Patreon and the membership. The help goes a long way. And I hope you guys enjoy the bonus footage. We get, you know, exclusive reviews over there. And then we have access to the after parties and other perks. So if you're interested, check it out. Link below. This figure right here is a lot of fun. And I'm glad Hasbro has made it. It's not an absolute necessity, but I do like it. Again, I wasn't expecting the upper torso to be all new, and I do kind of prefer the 80 years sculpt a little bit more. I like having the raised shoulder rings and everything, just, I don't know, a little bit more, but I still like this one a lot, and I like having the different figures, you know what I mean? It still very much feels like a different figure to me, and I really like that part of it. Uh, I don't really have much to complain about, you know, the ankle joints, hopefully those will loosen up and get easier for me to work with. Uh, but aside from that, I mean, the price point is higher, right? Like, you, this thing does cost uh, around 35 bucks. And at that price, or 30, uh, like 32, 35 bucks, something like that. So you're also kind of getting the novelty of the packaging, and I saved my packaging, so I'm probably going to repack this. Now, so at that price point, uh, around 32, 35 bucks, I'm going to give this Iron Man figure a sub rating of... I love it! And I really do love it. Uh, it's fun to have out of the box, and it's something that looks really cool, and it's fun to have in package as well. So I think this is a really cool figure, and I'd like to know what you guys think. So please, let me know in the comments section below. If you want to see the latest Marvel news and a photo gallery of images from this video, you can find it all over at MarvelousNews.com. And if you want to stay in touch with me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and TikTok. And I will catch you guys later. Peace! It would look a little bit more... Iron Man Party! Iron Man Party! Iron Man Party! Iron Man... Iron Man Party! Yeah! It's too much... That's crispy. Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. And click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.